What's going on guys? So I have the Ronin S and the S is for single operator, which is a basically a three axis gimbal, but is DJI of course in, 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 in very DJI fashion has put a ton of attention to detail in this thing. And this is still a production or a, a prototype model, production model. They did mention that there's gonna be a lot of stuff that they're gonna change as far as maybe even some of the weight, some of the material things like that. They're tweaking out even things like the joystick and joystick height. Uh, but I am not going to talk through this thing because there is just way too many small details that DJI has put into it that I'm not going to attempt to try to explain. I'm going to let Paul explain. And Paul is, of course, one of the creative uh, directors here, or one of the directors here at DJI. So I'll let Paul talk to you a little bit more about the new Ronin S. Hello, my name is Paul Pan, and welcome to the DJI booth at CES 2018. Uh, this is the all-new Ronin S that we just launched two days ago. Um, as you can see, the roll motor is uh, configured in that the screen uh, on the camera is not obstructed. We have a focus control knob for supported cameras. We also have this front trigger that we've integrated into this gimbal, which is similar to like the same uh, functionality that we have on our Osmo series. So I'll hold it down, it doesn't follow. Um, I could double tap to recenter. Uh, because we have this unobstructed view uh, of, the, of the monitor uh, and the angle of the roll motor, I can hold this down and go from a high mode down to a low mode without the motor getting in front of the lens. Um, the other thing on this end of uh, the thing is uh, we have a joystick. This joystick is uh, not just uh, one direction, it's uh, multiple directions. So I can do an angled view, I can do, I, I can do it very slowly or I can do it very fast. Um, we have this mode button that allows you to switch between profiles. So we have default and customizable uh, user profile one and, and two. Right now in default you can see it's kind of slow. I can press the button and it goes into something faster. Uh, if I want to go even faster, what we've integrated is uh, this mode button which allows you to do a sport mode. So if I hold it down, let me get to recenter. So if I hold it down, I could basically be doing this and I can whip pan over to you. So that's something that is kind of unique to our system. We have the motor strength uh, to be able to perform these kind of moves. Um, the power button on the side if I double tap, hold on, let me double tap, puts it into sleep. Um, we have a push as well, so I could push and position the, the gimbal anywhere I want. Uh, the other thing is, uh, let me turn this off. So the cool thing is the battery disconnects like that. So if I take this and mount it to a car, if I uh, open up this side, which has contact points, I can make this into a dual handle system, which we'll be releasing as well as an accessory. The bottom of this has a quarter 20. So you can put this onto a monopod, whatnot. Um, this product is releasing uh, the second quarter of this year. And as we get closer to the launch, we will then announce pricing. 